lovelies, my name is Jessica and welcome to Make a Misfit and welcome to day 24 of a very merry Jessmas. Merry Christmas Eve. I am excited for today's video because I'm going to show you what I chose to use for my holiday mani. Now back on December 7th, I believe, I posted a video and a uh, poll on my community tab asking you guys to help me vote for a few polishes that I could wear for my Christmas manicure. Now, I, when I was sitting down to film that video, I had a lineup of polishes that I would have absolutely loved to wear as a Skittle Manny. So I was kind of crossing my fingers for a few of those shades, um, but ultimately I wanted to see what you guys were interested in and at least use a few of those. So basically what I chose to do was I went with the number one polish that was voted and the number one topper that was voted. The other nails, they are all different, so I'll go through everything with you guys in just a moment. But what I decided to do was kind of pick a couple um, more so voted and maybe not so voted uh, shades and just create some type of Skittle Manny. So we're going to go hand by hand, nail by nail. And when I get to the top two, I will let you know what the percentages of those votes were. Everything else I'm not going to scroll up and down to. I have my laptop right here showing me the results and everything. So... We're going to start off with my left hand. So, as you can see, I have, there's four different polishes on here. Now, what I decided to do was Mint Money was the polish that came out on top. It was pretty close with a couple of others, but as just a standalone polish, it was voted with 58%. So what I decided to do was choose two fingers or two nails to put Mint Mountie on and then the other three nails just do my own little, my own little thing. So part of the original Skittle Manny that I was really hoping for was exactly what is on these nails right here. So this is Everything is Pine, which is a green glitter. I think I grabbed the wrong, here, Everything is Pine. So that is what is on my pinky. Next to that is Naughty List, which I think I'm going to have to redo this one because it's not really given off the glitter like I was expecting it to. Um, but this one, nope. This one is Naughty List. So I'm going to have to probably redo this one. I think I might try and mix it up a little bit more and then redo the nail. These are on with a peely base, so I should just be able to peel them off no problem. My middle finger is my beloved, beloved frozen bananas. If you guys haven't watched any of my videos, this should come as no surprise. Um, it was not highly voted, but I had to pull it out. I could not let this one go this season without wearing it. Like, how, look at that. How could you not want that on your nails? And then, like I said, Mint Money is what won as the top polish. So that is on my pointer and my thumb on both hands. Um, I think I left that one up on the table. I'll be right back and go grab that. All right, so this one is Mint Money. Sorry, I just have a hair attached to my nail. So when I first applied this, like obviously it depends on the lighting, but it's not quite what I had expected. It is beautiful and I do really enjoy the shade. Um, but I'm thinking a newer green frosted metal that I got into my collection just recently, so it came out or I got it well after the pull went up, is foiled again. So what I might do is... Um, not yet, but maybe in a couple of days is just kind of take mint money and replace it with foiled again Just to see if that's really what I'm looking for, but this is such a beautiful shade I absolutely love this and I am actually so happy that this came out on top. I wasn't expecting it So when I saw that it was at 58% I was beating out the other polishes even though there was close calls I was really excited that this had come out. I've been wanting this one for quite a long time but I finally just got it recently um, and I think I bought it during the Black Friday sale, one of those orders that I placed, um, and I, I could not be happier, like, you can kind of see the reflection on the nail, it's just gorgeous, um, but I think for what I was looking for, it was just a slight bit darker, and I don't think that quite hits the nail, so I'm thinking foiled again might be the best bet, but again, that came out much later, like, I didn't order it until recently, so I wouldn't, it wouldn't have been an it wouldn't have been able to be a choice no matter what. 
So that is what is on my left hand. Now on my right hand, as you can see, it's slightly different, but some of the colors look the same. Now again, I have mint, mint. Oh my God, I can't speak today. It's been such a long day, guys. We're almost there. Mint money is on my pointer and my thumb. So I don't need to chat about that one anymore. But my middle finger, you guys, this is Halogen Glow. And this is the topper that came out on top. Um, and it was a very close call. I want to say, yeah, it was 53%. The one after that would have been freezer burn with 50 and then scorched earth with 47. So they were very, very close, but all in all scorched, nope, halogen glow is what one. So I put it over a black base and when I first applied it, cause it's the first time I've used this polish, this topper, um, I was a little unsure, but you guys like, I put a couple coats on and it's actually very pretty. I don't think it's necessarily Christmassy, but you can actually see like the red and the gold in there. And then like at a certain angle, you can see like the deep green. I don't know if you're going to be able to see it so much. I'm trying like kind of there. It's actually very like deep, dark, grungy Christmas just in like one polish. Like it's got a little bit more like maybe a burnt red right there if you want to call it that but I think it's beautiful and then over a, a black base I think it just kind of makes it stand out a little bit more it would look different over a different colored base so I could have done it over modest moss it would have looked different um but I decided just to go with the black just to kind of get like the full effect of what it could be and I do like it I don't necessarily like it with the manicure but I do really enjoy that topper with the black polish. So that's definitely something that I'll keep an eye on in the future. I just saw full on green right there. I don't know if you guys are gonna be able to see it, but from my angle, it's like emerald green. We're gonna move on. The next polish I'm wearing is Crimson Void. This was from the Dark Rainbows collection and that is this polish. Yeah, this one right here. This is super pretty. It does look a little more magenta than what I was expecting. Um, even on the nail, it doesn't look as like deep red as I thought it was going to, but it's still beautiful. I really do like it and I think it's beautiful for like winter time. So of course the holiday season. And then last but not least is green taffy. I was like dying to wear the shade a couple of days ago. Where is it here? This one's green taffy. It's so pretty like just I think it was yesterday or the day before I was just itching to like take my polish off and like just put green taffy on and just wear that for a day or two until I decided to do these nails. Um, but I held off and when I was choosing what I was going to do for these and how I was kind of going to go about doing this I just knew I had to pull in green taffy and I also knew I had to pull in everything is pine because that was also another polish I wanted to use the other day so. I managed to throw them all together. So I tried to do like mint money, the two, like the light green on the two uh, fingers, the thing, the, the pointer finger and the thumb. And then I was trying to aim for like a yellow, red, and then green on the rest of the nails. So that's what it's come, that is what it's looking like. Sorry, I cannot speak today. It's, oh my goodness. It's like after five o'clock in the evening, it's been a very long day. Um, and it's gonna be only longer and then the next couple of days are gonna be absolutely insane, but I am excited for this. I do still have my New Year's uh, poll going on, so please go vote for that. I am still so unsure about what I want to do. I also don't know if I have plans quite yet or not, so that may help determine it. Um, but if you wanted to see the photos that I have on the poll, all of the toppers for the most part, I believe, are over... Uh, one coat black which is what this one is so this is what halogen glow looks like in case you know you needed a different angle or two um, instead of just the photo that is shown on the actual poll itself so that's what that looks like if that wants if you want that to kind of like help you to decide anyways I'm gonna stop before I just keep on like mumbling and jumbling up all my words so Thank you guys again. Like I said, Merry Christmas Eve. I can't believe day 24 is over. Tomorrow is Christmas Day, so stay tuned. There's just gonna be a very short little thing for tomorrow. I did just wanna throw something up, so it's not gonna be like a full video or anything like that. Just a quick little thing. Um, but that will be coming. So day 25 is next. We'll see you guys all then. Bye.